I I've not played that much jazz, but like I do love it. I once filled in for a performance when I was in uni with like two days of warning and not knowing most of the songs ahead of time, which is like the most jazz thing ever. You got any favorite songs? Uh, Death's Advocate. Ooh, playing, I assume. Desahorn? DA was talking about something in Discord the other day, but I've no idea what it was. Um, so I guess this is useful against Decimus. This is pretty good, because a lot of Starhorn decks don't run Plasma Storm nowadays. So a big fatty they can't remove is good. Uh, Tempest is probably not great. I mean, this is DA, so it could be like a random pet swarm deck, but we'll, we'll ditch this. Um, I mean, we get to go one, two, or two, three. Seems fine. Uh, we'll play Rust Crawler first, because Primus first can actually do something. I'm just going to quickly check this message. Hello, have I fiddled with Nematon? Hello. We need to go back to that next week. Right. I'm not going to keep the Primus first. I have an Arclight Sentinel in my hand. Let's ship. I guess the Rust Crawler could save me as a top deck if they run out, turn out to be running artifacts. Uh. I really like a piece called Afternoon in Paris. I think I've heard of that. It rings a really vague bell. Um, I will put that on briefly between tracks or something. Between games or something. So I don't get copyright struck. Actually, that's a thought. Yeah, I can't listen to like copyrighted music for archiving purposes. Or maybe Twitch just mutes it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it, uh, just in case, but I'll listen to it afterwards. Um, my favorite things that I've played, like just along to, have been Sing 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 by Benny Goodman, which I presume you know, uh, and a band called Snarky Puppy, who are like a little bit beyond my level, but fun as hell. Flash Elucidator on turn two. Why would you ever do that? Greater Fortitude? Yeah, okay. I mean, that's kind of cute and all, but I'm just going to kill it. So the question is, what is the manner of me killing it? I guess I just come forward, punch the Metallurgist, and jam the Arclight Sentinel behind me. Because I would like to stick this, rather than have my opponent trade into it. Probably don't need this Rust Crawler still, although it would be nice to have something to do next turn if I don't draw a 4 drop. Uh, gone. Oh, cool. That's pretty good. Oh, that way, if the Metallurgist runs away, I can still kill it. All right, slop. I guess my opponent, like, using a bunch of cards. Oh no, okay, cool, they don't have Seeking Eye up yet. Yeah, so my opponent played four cards on turn one uh, and killed my Primus Fist. So they are losing pretty hard right now. This is why Elucidator is bad, by the way. I've, like, railed against Elucidator in specific on, like, so many occasions. That's a good card. Um... Because Elucidator is the worst. Uh, right, so I guess I'm just playing the Scorn. I kinda, I could Martyrdom this and kill the 2-1. And play a Conscript, but then I can't actually take the Monotile next turn. And I won't have anything to do, to do with it anyway. Does Wanderer still need a nerf? Saw some articles suggesting his mana cost be increased to 7. I don't think so. I think the problematic card in the good, in Wanderer Rag, is Flash Reincarnation. Like, Flash Wanderer is so much more busted than anything else. Um, but even then, I'm not massively in favor of nerfing it. Like, I'm kind of biased because I play the deck, but 
I think Wanderer is interesting. It's nice to have all these cool draft cards see play. You know, like Dancing Blades used to be a thing when I started. And I, this card is brilliant. It's really well designed. Um, so it's great to have an excuse to actually put it in decks. Like, it's interesting to play with and around. Um, I think it's I think it's nice to have, like, a good, honest, board-focused mid-range deck be the best deck in the meta. Um, and I think, honestly, like, people are only just starting to properly counter it. So if I just jam this... Yeah, what I might do is jam this, take the Monotile, make a Crestfallen anyway. My opponent can, like, trade with the 4-4 eat the crestfallen and then they have no then I have no board but that's probably still okay the other option is they hit me for two I don't know if I have enough healing to this deck doesn't actually run that much healing ah, that's a good draw um, so yeah I'm not like massively on the wanderer needs a nerf train but I wouldn't be like Hugely upset if they nerfed something related to it, but I think my I think Wonder itself is just an interesting yeah okay that will be why they uh, splurged out all their cards oh no I'm milling my healing cards I literally just milled healing mystic and uh, as a herald which is quite bad although there is a non-zero chance I can just kill my opponent uh, so I guess now I just well, punch this and play Iron Cliff Guardian. <clears throat> or I can Paragon it. I'm going to get Warbeasted, potentially. Is there a good way to play around that? I can put the Guardian... I can kind of go into the corner and put the Guardian here. And this way my opponent can't Warbeast everything. They can just hit me in the face. Um, and then, like, i probably kill them next turn. Yeah, I'm one-off lethal on board, and I have this Lasting Judgment, which will kill them. <clears throat> so if they Warbeast here, they have to kill the 4-2 with it. Oh god, what's this, a Juggernaut? Oh, they're just decimusing me. Am I dead? Oh yeah, of course I am. I should have thought of that before I attacked the 4-2. Maybe I should have played around it with the, uh... The, sun, the Paragon or 